Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So, people keep coming out with new uh, pre-mixed pouring paints and then you all want me to try them. So today I'm trying the Folk Art pre-mixed pouring paint. They started carrying these at Michael's. Uh, the colors I was able to get were these three, aqua, purple, and bright blue. I wasn't able to get white or yellow or anything, so we're just going to go with these three for now. This is going to be a quick and easy experiment. Okay, so we're going to start with the aqua, and I'll kind of use that as my white since it's the lightest color. And basically we're testing um, the thickness, the viscosity, um, and how these paints dry. I'm not doing this with any silicone or anything. So, so far, they seem fairly watery actually. Definitely thicker than the Deco Art ones. And you can already see some cells forming in here, which is pretty exciting actually. But yeah, they seem really watery. I, I think maybe even a little too watery. Yep. <laughs> I'm already, uh, the, the jury's kind of coming out on these before I even pour it. So this says, no, no pouring medium required, water-based, shake well before use, which I did. Use two or more colors to obtain a marble effect. But if we look at the cup here, those colors have all kind of blended together. Let's see. Put a little more of this in here. Maybe I didn't shake it well enough. I don't know. Ah. Okay. Me and the lid were not getting along. All right. I'm just curious. I shake this a little bit more. No, still very watery. All right. Well, let's try it and see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and let's attempt a tree ring. Yeah, you can tell these, <laughs> they're just all blending together and it's so watery. Look at that. All right. So... I am very glad, actually, that I did not get additional colors. I'm sure we can still make some pretty things with this, because this is still pretty. This does give a nice marbled effect. Look at that. But it, if for acrylic pouring, for a lot of the techniques, this is going to be too blended. It's just too watery. So let's let this sit here for a bit. And then we'll we'll come in for our close up. Okay, we're back. So there's some sections here where we had some little cells kind of trying to pop up. Um, but overall, no, it does have this really gorgeous marbled section over here. But for like I said, a lot of the things we're going for for acrylic pores, this paint doesn't really cut it. Let's go ahead and do our close-up. So here's the section where some kind of little cells tried to pop up. And this is the gorgeous marbled part here. But overall, you can kind of see that it just blends. It all kind of blended together. So I guess depending on what look you're going for, this paint may or may not be great for you. I don't think I would necessarily use it on a regular basis. So I do have the rest of these bottles. I have quite a bit left and I will definitely be doing some more experiments including um, using silicone with it and also mixing it with other paints. And then I may even try thickening some up with Floetrol once I'm kind of down more to the ends of the bottles. Let me know down in the comments if you have tried this specific paint, the Folk Art Premix Pouring Paint. If so, what you thought of it and your experience with it. And I will see you all next time.